just checking in, you know, each week like I do. Oh, I'm, I'm still in Switzerland, I'm still here, yeah. It's a bit cold, it's a bit cold. I'm still wearing my sunglasses though, it's a bit too bright, a bit too bright. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to come to an end because I've got not, I've not got many clothes now to wear and things. So I'm hoping that I'm just ready to receive a call and then just go to where we need to be. Oh, but I'm hoping that it's, you know, I'm hoping I need to get home. Fish need to get fed. They'll be like vultures. They will, they will. They'll be like vultures. I put one of them, you know, them tablet things in for them. Only lasts for two weeks though. Been away for nearly four weeks. It's way too long, way too long. They're probably eating each other. Ah, but it's all right here. Nice food, nice atmosphere. It's just, it's just a bit cold. It's just a bit cold. It's just a bit cold. So I was just, uh, just hanging in there and waiting for my phone call. Are you? Are you? You alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I've loved it. I've loved it. I loved every single bit of the trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bit cold, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, gangster granny, yeah. She told me where to get some stuff from second hand shops so I didn't get too cold. Yeah, yeah, I ended up buying a jacket and everything. And my usual sunglasses came in handy though, so it's all right then, isn't it? It's all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, where where are we going next? Oh, okay then. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Does that does that mean does that mean that we're um we're heading more to right okay okay that's brilliant that's brilliant so when do we today okay we set off today oh i'm so excited i'm so excited yeah 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 it'd be great yeah yeah maybe not a hat and scarf needed no no sunglasses mm, maybe maybe not jacket maybe maybe not yeah 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 i've had a great i've had a great yeah i've had a great time yeah loved every single minute of it yeah 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 no it's big and travel best way best way to travel people yeah 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 okay yeah i'll let you go then right okay okay i'll tell everybody else that where we're going and that we're flying out very soon okay bye so it turns out we're going to another destination and then we're going to be landing on some home soil so strap yourself in and get yourself packed up because we're going on another adventure so off we go on another trip another plane another flight another destination however we're going closer to home, a lot closer than you think, or maybe you think. Let's see where we go. I just use whatever I can get my hands on, whether it be a bit a bit of soap, a bit of washing up liquid. I'm not, I'm not fussy. I'm not fussy at all. I just use whatever I can get my hands on. So yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah, yeah. I've used yeah, I've used hand soap. Yeah, yeah. I've used it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I just uh, and you know, it's not as crunchy as you think it would be. You know, with all them different products. Yeah, I'm getting some real good volume. Yeah, the wind's helping as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, watch out, watch out for people. They're looking at us. Do they, do they know? Do they know? They know we're from north. They know we're from north. We better, shh, we better be quiet. So, guys, we're back on home soil. Not 
quite home. We're actually in London, in Hyde Park. And it's an amazing park. It's actually the largest of four parks in London. And it's surrounded by various landmarks such as the Kensington Palace. Um, we've also got Marble Arch. And we've also got the Royal Albert Hall. So it's a wonderful place to come and visit if you come to London. But yeah, I've managed to get a bit of space and time and to relax because this park is huge. So I'm able to sit down with you and just go through the next part of the journey that we're taking with Jesus. So last time we saw him, he was in Gethsemane and he was praying to his praying to God and saying, Father, I want your will. I want your choices for me. And he was handing himself over. And then Jesus was betrayed. And Jesus, as we've talk, talked before about, was placed on a cross. He was, he was nailed to a cross for the sins of the world. But that is not the story done and finished. Jesus rose from the dead. He rose from the dead and he presented himself to the disciples. And the disciples were even wowed by the fact that they can see Jesus. They seen him crucified and now they'd seen him as the risen king. And this story has not ended bad. It's ended fantastically well because Jesus dying on a cross somebody dying normally in if you've had anybody die in your life it's difficult it's hard to cope with however Jesus dying on the cross for us and taking our things the things that we've done wrong upon his shoulders dying the death that we should die for the things that we've done wrong and rising again from the dead is incredible and it's something that I want you guys to think about think about this death have you heard this story before and if you have have you understood it do you believe it do you believe that Jesus died for everything that you are going to do wrong and everything that you have done wrong and he rose again he rose again in the power of the Holy Spirit so I want you to think about that if you haven't already and consider that Jesus died on the cross and rose again three days later for you but not just for you for everyone From Hyde Park, back on the road, we're on our way home. Yes, we're coming up north, but we're going to have a brief stop to acknowledge our craft entry. It's your host Caroline back for the final bit of the final video and it's wonderful that you have been able to join us but I just want to have a little recap through our journey and so we went to Paris first we went to Paris for the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem we quickly then went over to Sweden, to Stockholm, to the Grand Palace to visit there and see expensive things and understand 
the story of the lady who poured oil over Jesus that was expensive, but that demonstrated her love and her worship for Jesus. She not only um, poured it over him, but he said, I'm being prepared for my burial. Then we went to Italy and we ate and ate and ate in a restaurant. It reminded us of the Passover meal with the significance of bread and wine representing Jesus's body and Jesus's blood. Then last week we went to Switzerland and my word it was cold. It was colder than the UK and it was even colder than Lancashire which has got to be a record. And we talked about Jesus in Gethsemane, talking to his father, talking to God the Father, while the disciples watched upon him. Not very well, as we heard in the story. However, Jesus was saying to his father, my, my will doesn't matter, it's just your will, God, your will, father and today we've been to Hyde Park and yes down south I know we went to London and we discovered about Jesus' death and him rising from the dead his resurrection three days later and I hope you've enjoyed all of our episodes but I want you to carefully think about each and every one of these episodes and how much they are a part of the last week that Jesus lived on earth and if you haven't already made a decision to follow Jesus you just need to watch this and realize how much Jesus actually gave for us the fact that he died on a cross and rose again as we just found out earlier is amazing that we sinners we who who do things wrong get to be made right with God just because that one man gave up his life he wasn't just man though he was God all God and all man at the same time so it makes it even more of a bigger deal don't leave this video without thinking about the decision that you have to make for God and I'll leave you with that note. And I hope you've had a wonderful time backpacking with me. And you'll possibly see me very soon on a different kind of episode for the Beacon Churches. So stay blessed. God bless you all. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.